A remarkable man stands at the heart of this great mystery. His name was Zheng He, still revered as a god in parts of the East. Once a hero in China. The most powerful of the court, his loyalty in battle brought him great rewards. The emperor made him admiral of the Meng fleet. In 30 tumultuous years, his fleet of 300 ships and some 28,000 men undertook seven epic voyages. In 2002, a retired submarine commander called Gavin Menzies delivered a sensational lecture at the Royal Geographical Society in London. Someone was in the Caribbean in 1424, 70 years before Columbus. Menzies had delivered a bombshell. Menzies argued that in 1421, almost a century before Magellan, Zheng He's fleet had circumnavigated the world. He has expanded his theories in a best-selling book. If Menzies was right, Zheng He had reached the New World before any European explorer. It was almost by accident that Gavin Menzies first stumbled on the story of the man he believes was the Chinese Columbus. When I wrote the book, I pinned my evidence on the fact that the first European explorers all had charts showing them where they were going. Columbus had a map of the Caribbean. Magellan had a map of the world. Somebody discovered the world before the Europeans did. But a nagging question was left in his mind. If the Portuguese were not the first to map the far side of the Atlantic, who was? England and France were at the end of the Hundred Years' War. They were bust. Venice was in political turmoil. They were out of the picture. The Islamic world was, again, in complete turmoil. It could only be in China. In 1402, China was centuries ahead of the West in learning and technology. This was the era of the Ming Dynasty, one that would last from 1368 to 1644.